Well, nobody else is here yet. One, one more minute to seven. Then they all go. I even said, I even said people, um, reminder. Is it? It's a seven minute. Oh, could you turn on the AC? Yeah, open the doors and turn on the AC. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sticky. Come on, people. Last time, everybody was on time. Well, everybody. yeah, everyone was on time. Hello. Good evening. How are you? A little warm. I know that's I was like finishing dinner and I'm like sweating. Yeah, I told I told me I said please turn on the AC. <laughs> I just had the ceiling fan going in the dining room. I said not it's too warm. I know it's great. Well, I hope we'll have some more people. I actually also got in touch with Ina from last year. Oh yeah, sent you an email. I'm, I'm hoping to hear back from her. I, I haven't yet, but uh. I think um, she might. She might. Um, she reached out because she's part of that group I mentioned, and um, she said she's really busy. So uh -huh. okay, but she's hoping to be able to go to the event. Okay. Well, so. I hope I hope Diane and Eileen and the other women will be here, the young women, and she already said. <laughs> Did you hear from any other women from the Latino mothers? Latin, is it did. Latina? Latina <laughs> mothers. Yeah, I sent yeah. out to two more people, but I don't know if they will be able to join or not because I know vacations, you know, they're still kind of people are still kind of wrapping up the summer. So I don't oh, know yeah. if I may be able to call in or not now, but um, I did reach out to two more and then uh, send them the Zoom. But Eileen said she couldn't make it today because she has like something. Again. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just writing, you know, I, it might just be you and I. And yeah. Or, and I'm hoping Diane comes on because she was helping us with several different things. Um, should we, we should wait another few minutes and just in case, because it is dinner okay. hour. 
And where did you go on your vacation? I'm just curious. Oh, you... yeah, no, I went to Lake George in New York. Huh. I went yeah. there when I was a kid with my parents. It's oh, very it's different really now. Nice. It's yeah. so nice. Oh, yeah. it's very pretty. Yeah, I've never been, so that was my first time. It was cool. Yeah. Um, the last time I was there was I went to school in Albany. So um, like senior week, I think a bunch of us went up that way. But oh. uh, but when I was a kid, we, we would spend a whole week living in one of those little motel cabin type places yeah, and, yeah 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 i mean it's gotten more sophisticated than it used to be but i'm sure it's still still very low-key family oh yeah it's very, very nice it's very like family oriented yeah. place cool. and i've always wanted to stay at the savamore that hotel in the island in the middle of the lake oh so someday maybe i'll get to stay there so i didn't even know it. nice um Let's see, what time do we have now? Okay. So it's only four minutes after. Mm -hmm. uh, but you came home in the middle of your vacation? You said you? Yeah, I just came for a night and then we left to go to the Cape. Oh, okay, okay. So, so it wasn't like you had to go back to Lake George because that's a No, no, time. no, did that, yeah. then we you know, did laundry and then I went out again. Okay. So we came, then came so, back and then camping. Stage two. Yeah, it was crazy, but it was fun. We're just trying to get it all in there in a week. It was it was a lot. I know. We just do long weekends. That's or try like you know, this weekend we, we have a festival we go to every Labor Day. So oh, nice. we camp. It's a music and dancing, lots of dancing. Um, that's it's awesome. really, really fun. It's just out in Rhode Island, but it's our tradition for Labor Day. And it almost didn't happen because the producer the last year almost died from the stress of it. Oh and no. And there was a if you remember the Thursday before Labor Day, there was a nor'easter last year. Oh. And several of these expensive giant tents came crashing down. Oh my God. You know, and he pays lots of money for it. I mean he has insurance, but he ends up in the hospital. Oh wow. And then this winter he said my family has advised me I'm I can't do this anymore. And all of us who I've been going to this festival maybe 20, 25 years. Oh and, wow. And we were like so disappointed that it wasn't going to happen. But some other company in Connecticut bought the rights to produce the festival. Oh. So they're put, and it's going to be what it's it looks like it's going to be very, very similar. Uh, we'll see when we get there if it's any different. That's um, cool. We get to do it. Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll be, you know, all the same kind of music, which is it's a lot of Cajun, Zydeco, blues, um, there's gospel, there's, there's just, you know, swing, there's all kinds of, this Mexican polka, there's all kinds, it's really a great, you know, mix of different kinds of music. Oh, so, that's nice change from the bluegrass that we hear all the time because, you know, we with this bluegrass band and everything. Oh, that's nice. No, that'll be fun. Well, so you're looking Friday? Uh, yeah, we leave on Friday. Speaking right. of which, we are having, and I'm going to invite the whole HRC. I know no one will probably show up, but maybe you will. Um, every autumn, we always, and sometimes in the spring too, we have bluegrass games at our house. We have all these fabulous local musicians who are professionals. Oh, wow. And they come to our house and we set up canopies in our driveway and we have some things to eat. And it happens to be Reed's birthday always at that time, so I always get a cake. And we they perform, they oh, and different cool. people play. They jam. It's you know, and um, sometimes we have 50, 70 people show up. Sometimes oh, wow. we have twenty show up. Um, right. But we always have a wonderful mix of musicians. And it's Saturday, the twenty fourth of September, and everyone is invited. Kids are invited. It's run a dead end street. I put toys out. I put out cornhole. I put out hula hoops. Oh, that's so and, nice. And so if you know, if, and since we're in a dead end street, kids should bring it. Can bring their bikes or scooters if they come with kids. Mm -hmm. Like the Betches used to come with their little girls, um, and they always brought their bikes. And, oh, and that's they, so nice. Yeah. So you are invited. Um, oh, I'm thank gonna, like you. I said, I'm going to send an invite to the HRC. I may be invited today. I forgot to get it printed. Oh. We got to get printed by tomorrow night for me because he's going to see a lot of people tomorrow night. Okay, so right now it is eight minutes after. I guess 
we're it right now. I think we are. Okay. I have had, other than confirming with the library, I've had a very frustrating week ah. um, because I have both emailed and called the Tango Society twice. No response to email. And every time I call, it said, this phone is currently not operating. Or it doesn't say it's out of order. It just says your call cannot be placed at this time. Okay. So I don't know what's going on because I know they exist because they have an active calendar. They're on Bow Street in Somerville. I'm like ready to drive over there and find that. So I sent them a second email today and let's see if I get an answer. That was okay. pretty frustrating. Um, and then I could not find Charlie Chip, uh, Charlie, what was his last name? Perry, Perry, Charlie. Yeah. One last year. I couldn't yep. find his friend's business card. Oh. Uh, and his friend is the one who said, I have loads of connections for Latin music if you need help. Oh, is the Boston the one that came to like um he posted pictures and stuff online, right? For the event. He, he might have. Do you know his do you remember his name or have any information? I about don't him? remember his name right now, but I think I follow on Instagram. I think I have. Well, I don't do Instagram, but if you can send me any kind of contact information. Yeah, I'll I'll ahead. find it. I'll find I'm sure he has a contact like link or something. Oh, okay. And and what he was he has some, like I said, connection to the Latin music community. Yeah, I think it's awesome. strong. something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Instagram. I've never gotten involved with Instagram ever. <laughs> The one sort of positive thing, but I haven't heard back, is um, Charlie's on this, on Main, the pizza place across from the library. As it turns out, his cousin Charlie, his, not, his name is not Charlie, it's Eve from Sagato, has a Latin band. And he wants to what? play in Wakefield. Okay. So I think Charlie might be Hispanic. That's his awesome. pizza place, but he might be Hispanic. So he has this relative. and. I got the telephone number from Jackie at the library and I left him a message because if it turns out it's a smaller band and they could provide, and it's not tremendously expensive, and maybe they, I, what I said to Jackie and I said to him is we're looking for something interactive. We're looking for right. people who can show people how to dance. And very often people in a band know how to do right. different dances. Mm -hmm. And maybe it can be a package you know, kind of mm -hmm. thing. So I did leave a message for him and we'll, let's see what the situation is. Oh, he, that would be awesome. How cool would that be? Because he wants to perform in Wakefield. He somehow heard about us or or remembered last year and Charlie told him about it. And well, I remember last year, a lot of the people were crossing the street to get food at Charlie's because I was right, right we had no food, so they were going and grab pizza and coming back, or they were ordering and then coming to sit down. Right, and that's why I was hoping Diane, because she was going to do a little bit of contact work. And I, I think you said you didn't get in touch with um, the place in Greenwood. Yes, I reached out, but I haven't heard back. <laughs> See, everything is, you know, this is just a tough time of the year. I know it is, because I know vacations are, like, people are really trying to get all this stuff before school yeah. starts. And we actually had dinner at Tapas in Melrose, oh. um, not this past week, but the week before. We went to brunch there, actually, for our anniversary. Yep. Oh, their food is so good. Oh, good. But, yeah, but they're not going to they're not gonna set up something this small that doesn't, it's too much work for them right. for no guaranteed income. Right, yeah. Um, I wish that, and in fact, last year, I, when I, I had approached the Empanada people, Thinking yep. it's a little simpler. Maybe they can bring oh, the food trays truck. with empanadas, but it's the truck and they weren't going to do that. Oh, okay. And I don't think we want to get into the business of buying food to sell. No, I don't no. think so. So you haven't heard back from Tequila yet. Okay. Mm -mm. No, well, I'll reach out again. But oh. um, that's awesome if Charlie's works. Now, do you want me to reach? I mean, I'll reach out to that contact to see if any other groups or maybe dance groups or whatever they have around? Well, I uh, definitely want to speak with him because all these other things are, we're not, nothing is confirmed. And it's just, 
Mm -hmm. So this year is the opposite of last year, right? Last year we had kind of things, but we didn't have a place. Now we have a place mm -hmm. <laughs> and we need that. Well, I don't, I mean, I, I'm really happy that the library is set. I think that's, that's good. Well, and the library, of course, you know, we'll send them, they'll, they'll broadcast it all over the place mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, now, one would just, well, first tell me what any other contacts you were able to make. I know you, would, you had a contact for Bachata. Yeah, no, I, that's the one that they quoted me the two, 200, 300, but I got, I haven't given huh. them like a time, a place, or uh, if we want one teacher or two teachers, they said it all depends on what we're looking for and the time. Like, do we want 30 minutes? Do we want an hour? Because maybe if we just do 30 minutes or somebody teaching a class, it won't be 200 bucks, maybe just less. So you well, want me to ask? Yeah, maybe that's what I was thinking, you know, but they still have to show up and they still have to bring whatever sound they bring with them. Um, we might end up having to rent the sound system for this. Well, Although, that's the thing I was going to ask you. So the group that did the dance last year, the one from Chile, right? Yeah. They did that for free and they brought all the stuff. They were the ones that brought the mics and the speakers mm -hmm. and they, they have all that equipment. But I haven't reached out to them yet because I didn't know if you wanted them to do a performance they did kind of like a dance last year yeah or like I, a folkloric thing yeah I, I would rather we mixed it up a bit this year right but I do have remember a musician in my house I do have some connections and maybe he can help us with pulling together some sound right because we would need the speakers the mics and I mean, he, he doesn't have all of that. We have speakers. Um, we have amps, I should say, not speakers. Mm -hmm. But he has one of those, it's an amazing thing. It's one of those portable Bluetooth ones that is incredibly good stereo sound and quite loud. Okay. We, use it, we use it outside for our parties. Now, whether it's enough for, for the, library. the plaza is another story, but that's one of the things, the logistical things we have to deal with. The other now, logistical think, thing is timing. We're earlier by a, a month. Right. Last time we started at six. Maybe we should start at 6.30. It'll be easier for people to get there. Right, that's true. You think that 6.30 to like 8.30, last year was six to eight. Yeah, I, I think 6.30 to 8.30 is good. Now about the sound I think last year we asked the library because they did the plaza like the jazz and they said that I think the people that perform are the ones that bring their equipment so the WCAT doesn't have that available yeah. right that's right. true yeah they um actually the library uses a sound man. they have a sound man that they use. Mm -hmm. um but as you said maybe you know, I might be able to wrangle something from musical connections that I have. Because when Reed does a gig, they have to bring up, you know, and it's his bandmates have the mics and the amps and things like that. But maybe I can somehow get them involved if we if we need to. Um, because I don't know how to run sound either. Yeah. That's the know. other thing. You need someone who knows how to do it. Yeah. Right. Um, so um the what we, we could uh, call for a, a volunteer, a town member, community member who might be able to volunteer to help us with this. I don't know if that's or feasible. Or they have musicians in the community. We just don't know who. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because, you know, we doesn't play music with any people in the county. Mm. They're all people from everywhere else except here. Mm -hmm. And they have equipment, you know. Which is why he hasn't bought all kinds of stuff. Nice. His family has had it. Right. But I can talk to him about that. Okay. So right now we're still completely up in the air. And nobody's, yep. and I sent, even sent a reminder today to everybody to come to the meeting. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll reach out uh, again to Gilas. I'll reach out to the dance group and ask about prices for 30 minutes, maybe, you know, like mm -hmm. something shorter, like doesn't have to be a whole presentation, and ask about prices. Then about um, 
so we need like another music okay oh yeah the contact from last year the boston yes. event contact and maybe they'll be able to give us some some light on groups or something did he have an organizational name no. i think it's I don't remember if it's Boston, like Latin events or Boston. I'll, I'll find it, I'll email it to you. Okay, because it's funny because I tore apart my office. I went through every scrap of paper I had for HRC and could not find it. Yeah, yeah, I remember because I added him on Instagram. That's how I remember it, but I don't yeah. know. I should get in the habit of things like that of just putting it instantly on my phone. <laughs> Just, just putting it on my phone uh, because then I have it. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I had this, he handed it to me towards the end of things. He gave me a hug. It was, he just, oh, yeah, he was, was really yeah, he was very nice. He was very happy yeah. to be there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I don't know if Charlie is still even in the U.S. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't checked in or I haven't seen him or anything. Yeah. Well, I could also, if you don't have success, I, I can also try to, I have Charlie's email. Yeah, I no, I, I have him. I have his phone number too. You want me to check to see if he's available or should we do something? I, I loved him, but I don't think, and he could probably show everybody every dance too because he sings and dances everything. Um, he was, what? How much did he charge last year? What, 300. Maybe? That was a deal, wasn't it? Because he mm -hmm. really got people up and moving. Um, yep. Well, let me ask for the answers first, but I'll, I'll ask him if he's available, just kind of like, a, just to, to have him. Yeah, and I would really love if we could have, like I said, three different dance styles, the bachata, tango, and some salsa. Um, yeah, that would be nice, because I don't think people get to see tango every day either. Yeah, and they do Argentine tango, and you know that that is super dramatic. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. You know, actually, the next time, this is something absolutely lovely. Let me get my glasses and I will tell you about it. I told you they do Tango by Moonlight. They do these free things. They're going to be doing it on the Rose Kennedy Greenway on September 10th. It's a Saturday night. Oh, nice. And that's why I know that they're active because they're playing on these things. All right. <laughs> and we have a, a bluegrass jam party that night. I'd rather go to Tango by Moonlight to tell you the truth. Um, oh. But unless I can get you to go to that earlier and then go to the party after, because the party goes on to like three in the morning. They oh, this guy's back. oh, it's this guy's backyard. It's a street party for the whole block, a block party. And then with entertainment and bouncy houses. And oh, that's that. nice. But we're not going to go to that this year. We're just going to go to the jam in the evening because we just wants to play with these people. Mm -hmm. um, and which means that it's suddenly one or two in the morning and I'm sitting there. I will play and fall mm -hmm. asleep. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, right. But um, that, that's wonderful. That Tangle by Moonlight, the, the time we went, it was over the Charles River by Harvest. Oh, wow. Over, over the pedestrian bridge. So you were dancing on the bridge by Moonlight. That's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So now they've moved it. So I know they're an active group. And like I said, if I have to, maybe I'll just do it. I'll drive yeah. down to Bow Street, so, although it's still construction site down there. Try to get yeah. into Bow Street. Um, can't take the train because they discontinued the train. I know. Line that way. It's not there. It's crazy. It's crazy right now. Yeah. Okay. So I guess. So we, I'll do we, we have to meet again, but we have to keep meeting and, and unless other people. Yeah, I, I, I said, why don't we know. keep this? Let's do this, keep this in the calendar, and then people know that it's Monday and hopefully they'll call. Well, Monday I'll... is Labor Day next week. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. So yeah. it would have to be Tuesday night. All right. Hold I on. I don't know if that's any good for people. Maybe. Let me see what's Tuesday. I don't even know. Oh, that's my dad's birthday. Uh, uh, but as long as we keep it to a half hour, it's yeah, going to be I, in the midst of a birthday for him, you're not going to Yeah, I so think so. if we keep it to a half hour, it'll be good because uh, I'll just give my updates or whatever. Okay, okay. Um, so, so I'm going to say uh, six. Yeah. Because uh, Sherry Dalton is constantly sort of, um, I don't necessarily get things to her 
exactly at 72 hours. Sometimes it's a little bit less. Yeah, so, I know that's, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, so I know. I will send it to her. Do it. Yeah, let's put it for Tuesday. Uh, let's plan for 30 minutes and then we'll, I'll reach out to the, um, and then I'll give you an update. Okay. And if you find that anything between now and then, because then we we'll can coordinate, because yeah. we can't make any commitments to anybody. Right. And, but we and at least you know, right. And I'll speak to the library about moving the time just a little bit later. And I mean, we haven't had any rain. So I'm assuming we're going to have dry weather. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But I have to talk to them about what if, as it turns out, it turns out to be a, not a good weather night. Would they could we be in the? In, I, they won't. We, they won't allow us in to just do the lobby because that's a pass through area, which would be the perfect place. The main right. lobby. So I don't know. I didn't see anything on their calendar in the lecture hall for that night. Okay. Because the room where they move the Thursday Plaza performances, that reading room. It's really lovely, but it's not exactly a good space for this kind of event. Right. Um, it's carpeted. There's a lot of furniture in there. Even if they shove it all the way back, it's just a lot of yeah. furniture in there. Yeah. So I'll talk to Jackie about that. Okay. See well, I hope you'll hear from Charlie, Charlie's band or whoever. Yeah. And I hope I hear from Ephraim Sagat, Sagrado, Sagrado and his mm -hmm. Latin band. Yeah, I know they, they be might awesome. be, yeah, that they might be actually be. bring family members who will teach dancing, you know, they, they, know. and they can play the different music. That would be awesome, too. Yeah, okay, that would be really fun. Um, okay, thank you so much, Teresa. No just, problem, we'll just, be just disappointing when I hear from anybody. I know, we'll okay. keep going though. All righty, talk okay. to you soon. Take care now, bye bye. bye.